Hi everyone, Sandra Vale here at Homesteading Ways. And today I thought I'd do an update on the secret garden I planted for Paul in, I think, early June. I think that's when I did it. And um, I thought you'd just like to see how it was going, how it was coming along. Today is the 31st of August. Still beautiful weather, just loving it. But I also wanted to let you know that even though I um, upload videos every week on my channel, I really have never stuck with a specific date. And today I am letting you know that I will now start posting every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time. So make sure uh, you subscribe because then um, you'll get them directly to your feed. Just make sure you have your notifications turned on. And if you're not subscribed yet, that's okay too. Just head on over to my channel every week at 6 p.m. on Wednesdays to get the latest video. Okay, we're gonna start with the beds on the right and go all the way to the left, simply because that's how I planted them. Now this was, this is where I planted the strawberries. They're doing okay. And we did get some berries and stuff. You can see the watermelons kind of going crazy up in here. Um, I didn't expect a lot, and really I didn't want a lot. They have at least these two back here have, looks like tripled in size. This one's still a little small here. But um, they're all doing well. They're healthy, and that's what I wanted because I wanted to make sure I can take these to the cabin when we move up there full time. As for the watermelons, those are going really crazy. I still have parsley there in the middle, which I'm happy about, but I'm so thrilled with these watermelons. Um, two of them have cracked, and so the chickens have gotten them, but luckily I got three more in their place. Let me see if you can see this. See that little baby one? It's doing pretty good. So that's one. And then we come around here. I've got two smaller ones in there. I don't know if they're gonna get much bigger. I'll have to um, try and move them around maybe if I can. Then I have another one down here. And another one will be right there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Surprisingly though, in the last couple weeks, I'm hoping you can see all this, I have gotten more than a few volunteer tomato plants. Now, if they give me tomatoes, that'd be great. But uh, last year, I grew tomatoes in these beds and apparently some of the seeds took. Isn't that crazy? I've had volunteer tomato plants before, but I guess I just, you know, wasn't really expecting them here. And here is my mint, or the mint. Look at how crazy nuts this is growing. And I've taken quite a bit from this bed. This here, I'm sure, you know, visually it's really hard to tell the difference. Um, this here is spearmint. And this is the peppermint. The leaves are a little different. See there? That's uh, the peppermint. And... Here is, whoops, the spearmint. I'll be cutting most of this down and drying it. And um, I'll have it for tea and recipes and all that. My uh, purple basil here has exploded. I've cut plenty of this down too. And I'm going to be getting the rest of this probably next week. I've just been super, super busy. And you can see over there that it's flowered. These uh, peppers here have gone absolutely crazy. And of course, every time I grow hot peppers, I get plenty of them. And uh, these are the ghost peppers. See the one right over there starting to finally ripen all the way? There's no way on earth I will ever eat these peppers. These were grown just for my sons because they like that kind of stuff. But I'm not, I'm not gonna touch those. Down here, all back in here, over here, and over there. The sage is still doing good. My oregano spreading down here. 
see, can you see there? This uh, rosemary has done fabulous. Thyme is beautiful. It's all over in here. I'm pretty pleased with all the herbs. I have a few in the front in a wheelbarrow, but unfortunately, Paul ran my wheelbarrow over with the trailer one day in the dark. Um, I managed to save the lemon balm and the lemon verbena, but uh, chamomile and a few other things didn't make it. And here, here is, I'm pretty happy with this. This um, is Paul's rhubarb. He wanted rhubarb forever and a day. And at first something was eating the leaves. Um, I think in the long run it turned out to be earwigs. But I wanted this to grow the same as the strawberries because rhubarb is a perennial. And I just wanted to get it established or getting going a little bit, you know, so we could take it up to the cabin. And that's Paul's little secret garden, how that came along. But um, I'm outside anyways. I'll take you over to look at the rest of the garden. Look at all that uh, goldenrod. Beautiful, isn't it? coming up on this crazy jumbled mess of a garden I have this year. Um, we didn't grow as many things as I wanted. Paul wanted me to take it easy this year or whatever, but um, let's say the pumpkins and the gourds have totally gotten out of control, even though I did try several times to cut back the vines. Um, if you look right here, Here's a couple of small little gourds getting going. And then um, here's some bigger ones. There's one up there and there. Another one hidden over here. Hope you guys are seeing all this. It's kind of hard to tell in the sunlight. The sun's behind me, so it's really putting a glare on the screen. This is one of my red warty pumpkins it is so cool and uh this pumpkin is a cross between i don't know what kind of pumpkin but a pumpkin and red hubbard squash or hubbard squash now i was growing other pumpkins besides the red warty things and um this is one of them I forget the name of it, but sugar's in the title. It's for um, pies, specifically. They get this size or a little bit bigger. They're super sweet. But as you can see, it's trying to heal over some um, gouges and whatnot. I think a woodchuck is um, bugging all the pumpkins because the little ones in particular seem to be taking the brunt of it. Here's a... Uh, see that real well there's another one and it too was you know trying to recover from gouges or whatever that is okay now we're coming up on the tomatoes and it's been a not so good year with them I got a fungus that was taking over for a little while there as you can see there's still a little bit going on here and there but thank the heavens that I made a spray that has kept it from getting into the tomatoes and I'm, I'm still spraying like I want to say every five to seven days just to be on the safe side can you see all that although I have I've got to say I've gotten enough tomatoes to can up with a little help from my sister's garden and um, I still have some going on in the house right now. So hopefully I can pick these few extra in the next few days and can up a little bit more. There's a rogue pumpkin back there. I don't know if you can see that. That's okay with me. So anyways, that other pumpkin, the warty red thing, and the little ones, I planted them um, both because you can can them you can preserve them you can use them as food so um, that works really well for me and here we go here's um, 
These are a specific pepper I planted a few times. I, I sh probably shouldn't have planted them here this year. Um, I forget the name of them, but I think they're they're a, a Czech pepper from, you know, like Czechoslovakia. I don't even know if that's a real country anymore. But they're beautiful peppers, and um, when they redden up, they're just so sweet. And um, down here, my chart isn't doing so great. Um, the rabbits kept getting after it, so I, I tried to keep covering with this stuff, the, the row cover. And yeah, well, you know, I've been getting some, and I'm going to cut it down a little bit and see if I get um, some more back. And over here are my cucumber vines, and I haven't had a lot of cucumbers because of the gourd vine. The gourd vine has just taken over everything. Um, I keep cutting it back, but that doesn't seem to matter. It keeps growing and growing and growing. And I wanted the gourds for up at the cabin. I wanted to make birdhouses and hang them in the trees. And I now know I will have way more than I could ever need. So I don't know if I'll be giving them away to family and friends or what. If you want to see under here, see some of the leaves are dying back. But here's some of the, the gourds just happily hanging there and growing. Let's see back up in there. And over here, there's a little pickle, pickle cucumber going. But anyhow, that's the majority of my garden this year. But anyhow, thanks for watching the video, you guys. I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to do that. It's great. I'm, I'm glad to share everything with you guys. And, um... Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Comment, that would be wonderful. And subscribe too. It was really nice talking to you. And you take care.